everyone, this is Coach Jessica from Rising Sun Nutrition Club in Columbia, Pennsylvania. I am live today to show a, um, a way to make a healthy meal. Um, I have a few clients who have been telling me they're not sure what to make. There goes my microwave. Um, they're not sure what to make um, to eat their healthy meal. They're doing their two shakes a day, their healthy protein snacks, but they're getting stuck on meals and they're eating the same thing over and over again. This is not what we want you to do. Um, if you're following the Herbalife plan and you're doing two shakes a day, you can eat what you want for your third meal. Um, if you're trying to really stay on track and lose weight quickly, you're gonna wanna eat a healthy meal. Uh, so I'm taking um, regular meals and I'm making them a little bit healthier just to give some ideas. So I'm gonna post a few videos each week showing you what I'm eating that day and how to make it healthy. Um, so the first thing I'm making today is spaghetti squash because that's what we're having for dinner. My family does not like spaghetti squash, so this is what a spaghetti squash looks like. Um, my family does not like this because they are weirdos. Maybe you have people in your family that don't like it. Maybe you've never had it. Um, I suggest trying it. I think it's good. I can't say whether my kids have ever had it or not, but my husband says he doesn't like it, therefore my kids don't like it. Um, I don't know if you have the same type of family or not. So what I do is I make my own and I also make for them. And I do that a lot with most of my meals. My husband is very skinny, very healthy, and um, likes to eat foods that I cannot eat um, on my weight loss plan, or I can't eat every single day. So what I'll do for me is I'll have the spaghetti squash, and for them I will make regular spaghetti, but they use either veggie noodles or whole wheat noodles. So the only difference is, the noodle. So I took the spaghetti squash, I cut it in half, I put it in my little container here, put about an inch of water up in it, and I put it in the microwave. Um, this is a smaller one, so I did eight minutes. So then you're left with a soft version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the seeds out, and we'll throw them right in the trash. Still a little hot, just came out of the microwave. The nice thing about this is um, I try and do everything fairly easy. I do a lot of meal prep one day a week so that everything else I make is quickly. Um, I work evenings at the club and I do fitness classes. So I actually don't eat dinner with my family. I eat lunch and then I do a shake for dinner and my family tends to do dinner together. So I have everything prepped and set up for them. And then weekends we eat together. Okay, so all my seeds are out. So this is what you're left with. Ooh, that's warm. So what you're gonna do, what my fingers off. What you're gonna do to get spaghetti squash is you're literally just going to take your fork and pull it down, okay? I have to sit it down to do it, it's a little hot. So you're just gonna do that, like just pull it, pull it, pull it and you'll get all these long little noodles. So let me show you what this looks like. Come out, come out, come out. So for my spaghetti, I don't like just sauce. Um, everyone is different. If you like just sauce, awesome. Go with just sauce. I like um, meat in mine. Okay, so I'm almost done. Okay, so most people use hamburger in theirs. I do too, I like my meat, I like my ground beef, I like my steak. Okay, so this is pretty much empty. So let me, this is what I have left over, which is close to a serving. So a serving size is one cup of shredded um, spaghetti squash. And the cup size I have here is one and a half cups. So I have no clue what happened to my one cup. Surprise, surprise. Probably my family took it. But it's missing. Okay, so if you look at my one cup, one and a half cup, I'm right around one cup. So half a spaghetti squash 
is one serving size. So I cook this in the microwave really easy. Sauce, I use uh, ragu simply. It's no sugar added, 100% um, olive oil. Everyone's different, everybody does things different. I personally try to cut back on my sugar because that is one of my weaknesses. Um, so this only has uh, two grams of sugar. No, I'm lying, six grams of sugar. Two grams of protein. So you're getting a little bit of protein in it. This one is the meat flavored. So I already measured that out and you get half a cup. So half a cup of spaghetti sauce to one cup of spaghetti. Now here's where my meat comes in, let me grab it. So once a week, I get my ground chicken and I throw it in a crock pot. Uh, this week it was seven pounds. So I did seven pounds of ground chicken, threw it in the crock pot and just went back and kept chopping it up as the day went on um, and cooked it in there. It took like maybe four or five hours, but I did stuff throughout the day around the house while that was cooking. So I didn't have to sit there and you know keep changing out batch after batch. So I do it in the crock pot um, and then I take and measure everything out into four ounce portions. So I got my four ounce portion of meat. I'm gonna put it, that's ground chicken. I'm putting it in my spaghetti sauce. I got my noodles. I'm putting that in my spaghetti sauce. Give it all a stir up. Now, if you're like me, you like garlic and onion. I am a garlic and onion fanatic. So what I use, I don't know if anyone else has these. I use um, a lot of tastefully simple seasonings. So I'll put a little bit of my garlic in there. I'll put a little onion in there. Stir that all up. And there you have a healthy spaghetti meal. Now, I also like cheese. So I will use a slice of provolone cheese and no more than that. One slice for this amount gives you a lot. So what I'll do is I'll put this in my little microwave container. Oop, I just saw a seed. I missed one seed. Oh well. Put that in my little microwave container. I'll throw my slice of provolone cheese on top, throw my lid on it, and I am ready to go. Um, I can eat this before I go to work. I can eat it um, at work. It's easy to travel with, so there's really no excuse that you can't eat healthy when you're on the go. Um, you can also do this up like a week in advance or the weekend for the following week. So like on a Sunday, if you're meal prepping, you can make this in advance. You can throw it in the freezer. It freezes really well. Pull it out, let it defrost, then heat it up. So this is my supper for tonight. And as you see, like that's a lot of food. So thinking that you can't eat healthy is incorrect. That is a lot of food. And I can give you, let's see, the nutrition. So for your olive oil, or for your spaghetti sauce, it's 70 calories. My zucchini, not zucchini noodles. I didn't use zucchini noodles today. I used spaghetti squash noodles. I want to say they were under 100 calories. Um, and the ground beef is a little over 100 calories. So maybe with the cheese, you're looking at four, 450 calories for your entire dinner. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, so that's my meal for the day. I'll also have my shakes and I'll have my two protein snacks and my day will be set. So that's me, that's what I do. Welcome to my video and keep track. I will be doing more videos in the near future. Thanks guys, have a great day.